So the wait is finally over. Android 14 official stable version is rolled out for the Pixel supported Pixel devices. And if you want to know which are the things, which are the new changes included in Android 14, we're going to talk about all of those things in this video. So stay tuned. Firstly, new back gesture is introduced. In Android 13, the back gesture was not like this one. You can see now we have highlighted back gesture, which also brings you new UI. And this is one of the features which is available in Android 14 stable version by the way it was already available with android 14 beta and android 13 custom rooms if you move on to the lock screen you will notice we have the customized lock screen option finally available inspired from ios you know i know ios brings you this kind of customization in lock screen and same thing available in android 14 now it also brings you some lock screen clocks and which is one of the main highlights of android 14 which is also one of my favorite features personally in android 14 because the lock screen clocks are so amazing one of those amazing clocks is this one where you can even customize the lock screen clock color and lock screen clock size everything is what you can do customize some things which you can't is i mean some custom things you can't but most of the things are so amazing in this customization section in wallpapers and silent same thing applies to home screen where you have this kind of option almost everywhere new ui introduced and if you're coming from android 13 you will definitely see a major difference here it also brings you new emoji wallpapers which is quite amazing i mean if you use this thing you can create your own emoji wallpaper we have three options available emoji patterns and colors and you can customize everything and including this one i mean if you want to customize the colors at sector you can do so but you also have the option to choose the randomize option which which is just here as you can see so if you click randomize it will simply apply this kind of things so it's totally up to you if you want to apply it on your device or not this is also one of the things included in latest Android 14 stable version. If we move on to the device unlock option, you will notice we have the auto confirm unlock option and the enhanced pin privacy option. What is auto confirm unlock? Whenever you type a correct pin, for example, six digits or more, it will simply automatically confirm that pin, which is which was actually one of the most useful feature missing in Android 13 or Android 12, etc. What is enhanced pin? So whenever you enter pin, as you can see, we are not seeing any kind of animations. If you disable enhanced pin, you will see some animations when you type any pin from here. This is also one of the features available in Android 14. If I move on to the notification options, you will notice we have flash notifications available, two types of flash options available. We have this camera flash. So if I click on preview, this is the one I'm talking about. Including this camera flash, we also have the screen flash option. If you click on preview, you will notice this. And also you can also have the option to change the color. For example, it's yellow by default. You want to choose red, blue, green, whichever I want to choose, I can choose that. This is also one of the features included. It also brings you new quick setting type names and named as font size it is not a major deal of course you can customize the fonts very easily but through quick settings it was so useful it's finally available there we also have the sound and vibration section where the major interesting change is a separate ring and notification volume it was so unfortunate that in android 13 if you change the ring volume the notification volume was also able to change but in this case it's now fixed so if you enable this expanded volume panel you will notice we have the separate notification and ring volume section available which is quite amazing including this one we also have the new silent icon in the status bar if i notice here let me show you this is the one i'm talking about vibration icon is actually the same normal icon is okay but if you enable the silent icon it's looking good according to me the previous silent icon was not good at all and now it looks like the phone is in silent mode it is quite better i guess if I move on to the other options, you will notice the quick settings, sorry, the toggles, the material use switches, or if we talk about the toggles, these are also a little bit changed, a little bit modified. If you compare it with Android 13, you will definitely notice some difference here. Not a major thing to talk about, but still, if it is included, I just wanted to let you know because we are talking about Android 14 features. We also have the new predictive back animations available in the developer options. By the way, it is not so popular for some of the users using 
Android 13 Pixel. But if you're using custom ROM, if you're using custom ROMs from some time, you already know that this feature is already available. But in Android 14 official, it's not available and it's finally introduced in Android 14. Of course, it's disabled by default. You have to enable developer options and then you have to enable this option. This is the one I'm talking about. Maybe with Android 15, they will bring you this feature by default enabled. But in this case, you have to enable this thing according to your own preference. We also have the navigation mode available in the display settings, which is basically the gestures option which were present in the system settings. Now it's available in the display settings. And if I move on to the system options, you will notice the keyboard, the languages and keyboard option is also now changed. Gestures and navigation mode are also now splitted and this is available in the system settings. One more thing is if I move on to the security and privacy options, you will notice the health connect option present. It was not available in the previous Android 13 update. So if you use these options on a device, this is available in the security and privacy options. One of the features which is not actually a lot of users are talking about, but this is new Gcam. New Gcam UI is introduced with Android 14, the talking about Gcam 9.2. If you're using Pixel device, update it from Google Play Store and you are good to go. Gcam 9.2 brings you some new UI changes. Some features are so amazing, but if you want to try it out, you can. These were things I just wanted to let you know. I hope you like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.